extremely proud. Um, got a great group. They they fought all the way to the end. So we're, we're, we're all proud of our guys. How hard was it that it had to be Phoenix in your, your first series as a head coach? <laughs> One of the toughest things I've ever had to do um, in basketball is coach against people that I love and care about. So that, that was that was tough. <laughs> I mean, what did you do to just like try to manage those emotions of like going up against some of you know your closest friends in the league? Just, you know, concentrate on preparation, concentrate on what we need to do. You know, we stopped talking to each other, all of us, um, and just focus on the task at hand and, and trying to prepare our team to be to go out and be the best that we could be. Yeah, we saw once the buzzer went off, you know, the emotions kind of came out for you to obviously still there. Can you just describe to us, you know, what are the source of those emotions? Um, just so proud of, of everything that we together accomplished. I mean, we poured a lot into this season. So, you know, I don't want to go too far into it because I might get emotional again, but just happy, happy, happy about our guys. Disappointed that, you know, our season is coming to a close. And I mean, we've talked about it all year. Uh, in a big moment, you needed the rookies, and those guys stepped up. Each and every one of them just described what was it like just seeing them tonight and just throughout the season. They terrific. Um, couldn't ask for a better effort. Like you said, we had three rookies on the floor, and um, all of them just battled. And they're tough. They know how to play. They play together. Um, they're not afraid of the moment. And uh, like I said, we're all extremely proud of our guys. And then we just stuck together all season. That was the key. You know, no matter what our record was, we came in and just worked. And um, it's easy to do when you have high character people in your organization. And uh, I'm, I'm extremely blessed and grateful to have just good people around us that are all about the right things. And obviously the, the pain of this loss is still there, but you know, when you talk about those rookies, B.I., Z, yeah, you're here. Just how do you, how optimistic are you about the future of this franchise? Very optimistic. You know, I, I said it before, our future is bright. Um, we'll, we'll soak this up a number of things. The playoff experience was great for us. Elimination games, uh, the play-in experience leading up to that. Uh, and then this loss, you know, we, we, we feel it. Um, so, like I told our guys in the locker room, our, our work this summer is going to determine what happens next season. And we'll be back in the gym, getting it in, getting ready. When you came to New Orleans on the outside looking in, things were not great at that point. What what did you see that made you think, like, we can build here? Um, number one, just trusting in God. Um, I felt like I was coming here for a reason. And um, it wasn't just – to be a decent team or play in. It was to be in the postseason and have sustainable winning. And, and that's the goal. Well, oh, they may not be your friends until maybe tomorrow at this <laughs> point. But uh, can you share maybe the, the message that Monty and Chris were, were sharing with you at the end? Of the they said the same thing. One of the hardest things that they've had to do. You know, you have to shut off communication. You got to act like we're not friends or brothers. And then you got to go out and compete. It's hard, but uh, I'm proud of our group, I'm proud of them. They brought it, and I wouldn't expect nothing less. We brought it, and um, you know, hopefully, we get to see them again uh, on the game. It, Chris is 14 points for the best shooting performance in NBA playoff history. It just as a how frustrating. Don't don't remind me of that right now. Don't remind <laughs> me. Of that. I mean, it's, it took that and a, a Hall of Fame level performance by yeah. Mikhail the other night of guys that he's with to. To knock you guys out of the series. How much, how encouraging is it that that's what it took to knock you out? Well, it's twofold. One, I've been with those guys and I, I understand what they're playing for. And, you know, they're playing for a title. And last year, we, that group, I was included. It, it hurt not winning. And um, when the moment is big, they're, they're ready. And we're preparing our group here in New Orleans for the same thing. And so I'm proud of our group that we stood the test. Now we came up short, but we have a lot to build on and um, we will. And Willie, when you walk out the court, there were a lot of cheers for you. What does it just kind of mean to you? I'm grateful um, for, for our fans and community and my family, just grateful.
Can y'all let me go? Y'all see I'm emotional. Okay? <laughs> it's my last one, I promise. It's my last one. Because I got to get you, I know you don't want to, but I got to get you to talk about yourself one more time. Just, uh, I mean, just the ups, the downs, the, the this playoff run. Just describe what year one as a head coach was like for you. So much fun. Um, you know, I love it. And we poured a lot into it. And that's what it is. It's, it's just, we gave it everything we had every day. And I'm extremely blessed to have this opportunity. So that's it. All right.